Good morning, guys. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the true fundamentals in Bitcoin. What does it exactly mean? My daughter, Juna, is going to help me with simplifying the explanation to you, and you will really like it because she made a beautiful TikTok out of it. I'm also going to talk about the huge inflation in Venezuela and that we now don't think this can happen in Europe, but it already happened in Europe many times, so I'm going to show you this, guys. I'm going to talk about the Bitcoin price, of course, because we all want to know what Bitcoin is going to do from here and if we will see a ninth green candle or not. I'm going to tell you the bearish scenarios and the bullish scenarios, so start to watch this beautiful video. Oh yes, before I forget, I also added the beautiful views about Copagan because yesterday I did this motorbike tour around the island and we saw and we found some amazing, beautiful Bitcoin hotspots in the island. So make sure you check the full video. Have a beautiful day, else, guys. See you. We have a real Bitcoin machine today, guys. Can we make some sound? Good morning guys on this beautiful day here in Copagan, almost entering my office with a small jump as usual. I am on my office. Today another beautiful day here in Copagan, a little bit cloudy but the sun already starts to shine and you can feel the heat which is amazing. Uh, this video I will record from my own office beach in front of my house but yesterday I did a really cool tour with some friends across the island and I will edit those pictures and videos of this tour and us discovering in the beautiful beaches and this beautiful bar on top of a hill into this video so you can still enjoy amazing views of Copangan. At the same time I will edit a small video in from my daughter which you will really like because she is going to explain to you what the true fundamentals of Bitcoin are. And guys, if it comes to the true fundamental of Bitcoins in the last videos, I haven't spent time to it as I should have, so I'm going to do it today on this beautiful Saturday. You need to understand the true fundamentals of Bitcoin. Yes, the price is relevant, and yes, I'm going to talk to, about the price at the end of the video, but in the beginning now, guys, I want to talk to you about the real deal, about the real fundamentals. If it comes to some Keywords of Bitcoin for me is always Bitcoin is unconfiscatable, it is decentralized, it is a peer to peer cash, it is censorship resistant, it is borderless, it works 24 7 and it is immutable. These are for me the keywords. But what does it exactly mean? I will explain it by a beautiful TikTok made by my middle daughter Juna and she will simplify these words in this beautiful two minute viewing video. Check the video now, it's really cool. I've got so many voices in my head. Is this a Bitcoin? No, Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer digital cash that will include the excluded into the new monetary system. It's revolution. Huh? Which means a digital money that people can send to each other without a bank account. It's going to change the world. Whoa, that's cool. Bitcoin is decentralized. Which means nobody controls it. Okay. It's 24 7 usable and borderless. Which means you can use it 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, all over the world. That's really awesome. It's also unconfiscatable. Which means nobody can take it from you. Yeah, that's important. And it's immutable. Which means nobody can change or hack it. Whoa, that's really cool. Thanks, voices in my head. Straight to the moon, Bitcoin, all the way up, all the way up. Now that you have seen the video, you probably understand the true fundamentals of Bitcoin a little bit better. Why it's decentralized, why it works 24-7, why it's borderless, unconfiscatable, immutable, censorship resistance, and why it's a peer-to-peer -peer cash. So, thanks for watching that part and supporting our TikTok channel by starting to follow us on TikTok as well. Exactly these fundamentals, guys, are now leading to the huge adoption rate in Venezuela. Venezuela is a country that had an inflation rate of 10 million percent. They now understand the power of Bitcoin. They now understand that hodling Bitcoin is more valuable than hodling the Venezuela Bolivar or Peso or which other Venezuelan 
uh, currency there is or has been. So we see this huge adoptance. We see that more than 20,000 stores now accept direct Bitcoin payments. There is now this setup, I think, between Crypto Briar and Megasoft. They now make it possible that um, uh, a lot of shops, more than 20,000 in Venezuela, can accept Bitcoin in their POS systems, which is really cool. And you know, when we are talking about Venezuela, we always think, wow, this is so far away of our uh, country, guys. This can never happen to Europe. This can never happen to America. This can never happen to Asia. Guys, you are wrong. Please, please understand why it is so important now to understand these fundamentals of Bitcoin. These inflation rates we are now seeing in Venezuela, we have also seen in Germany. There was a time in Germany we had a 100 trillion Deutsche Mark banknote. This was there because of the huge inflation. I think it was more than 9,000% inflation at that time in, in Germany. So that is Europe. That is one of the biggest countries of Europe. We saw inflation there in the times of the wars, guys. So that's huge. Can you imagine like this bill with 100 trillion in Europe? There are some more examples here. Check this table. You can see there was a huge inflation. Uh, in Greece, there are many European countries that had huge inflation. You know, when I was younger, we were still having this beautiful Dutch gilder, and we always went to Spain on holidays with my parents. And in Spain, they were using the peseta. And every year when we get, went to Spain, you know, I always calculated because we, I always had like thousand pesetas per day that I could spend. And these thousand pesetas one year were about 10 euros or 10 guilders, sorry. And the year after, these thousand pesetas were 16 guilders. So even in my youth, I was confronted by this inflation rate of the peseta to the Dutch guilder. So one year for thousand peseta, I could buy a lot of ice creams. And the other year, I could only buy almost half of the ice creams I bought the year before. So this is what inflation means, you know? Inflation means that if you have 100 euros and you do, you fill your shopping cart with products for 100 euros, and let's say we have an inflation rate of 5%, that means that the year before the same shopping cart would have costed you like 95 euros, which also means that the next year, the same shopping cart will cost you 105 euros. So this is what inflation means. That had a huge inf influence on my spendings in Spain at, the, at that time, you know, because I got less pesetas for the money I had. So I learned very early what it meant to have inflation. So I can't understand that people in Europe now think that what happened in Venezuela, or even in the worst case, what happened in Zimbabwe, I think Zimbabwe had 79, billion percentage inflation 79 billion percent i can't even calculate i can't even calculate the numbers anymore man there's so many numbers and then there's a percentage you know this can happen to europe as well it has happened before and it will happen again in the future if we are getting more of these economical crises like we see at the moment so that is why all the billionaires around the world like i said in my yesterday's videos are now going and trying to hedge into Bitcoin because they know that many currencies will decrease in value, that many other assets will decrease in value and they all believe that Bitcoin will be a little bit more stable or even increase in value. So it's all one big game and if you zoom out you can see this game and that's why I try to make these videos to educate you a little bit about what has happened in the past, what is happening now, and what can we expect for the future. Okay, that was the, the, the fundamentals part of this video. I hope you now understand a little bit more what inflation means. I hope you understand now a little bit more that inflation can also happen uh, in your garden, <laughs> at your door, because it has happened before in Europe and it will happen again if you continue this printing of money like we are doing at the moment. I think we are now nearing 25 trillion of debt in the states so that's uh, not a good sign and that means that the dollar will be less valuable every time again and again and life will become 
more expensive if your wages are not increasing with the same rate as that the dollar or euro is losing its value. Okay, that was the educational part. <laughs> we went with this motorbike tour yesterday. Um, we drove from Chalaklam to the other side of the island, Tongnai Pan, Noi, which is a small uh, bay. It was a beautiful bay, a long, wide beach, uh, stretch over like, like one, two kilometers or something like this. It's, it's an amazing, it was really quiet because of uh, the lockdown and there were not many tourists in Kopangan. After that, we went to this amazing tree house bar, chill bar, where you still can drink this, uh, where you can still drink this amazing Bacardi Coke with this view across this beautiful bay, Tongna Yaipan. And it was just a really cool guy working there. And of course, you cannot only drink there, you can also have some other specialties that are brewed and created here on this beautiful island, which I won't mention, but you know, I'm a Dutch guy, so you probably will guess what it is. And that just gives you this really chill vibe with a view and some relaxing music, like you can see now in these beautiful images here. I am again sweating, guys, because it's hot and I'm working very hard for you guys. I'm getting up early every morning. You know, I still have a lot of fun in making these videos. I get up every morning around six, I read for an hour, then I start recording these videos, which takes like one hour. Then I start to edit it, when it which takes an hour. I create a thumbnail, I do all this stuff by myself. So in total, every video I make will take me between four and five hours. Yes, that's also because I'm not the best editor. Um, but that's a lot of time for the videos and I'm not monetizing these videos at all because we don't have a lot of viewed hours yet by our followers. So please, if you go to do your groceries or whatever, just put on my channel, put it on play, do your groceries and when you come back I uh, gained a few hours of watching and maybe we will be able as a family to monetize the channel in the future and even make some money and then I can share this money or bitcoins with the poor people all over the world to show people by leading by example that it's not always about getting and accumulating but also about giving because giving makes you internally very happy and accumulating you can do as much as you want but you will not get ultimate happiness out of this okay that was a lot of chit chat about the true fundamentals and about life fundamentals and now you guys you want me to talk about the price I am going to search for some shadow because guys, I, it is just too hot and I'm sweating, sweating, sweating. Give me 20 seconds to walk to this beautiful shadow spot over there and we will talk a little bit more about the Bitcoin price because you know, the Bitcoin price is like a little bit stable now around the 10K. We are trying to break the 10K and some bears are, stop, uh, are trying to stop us from passing the 10K. So this is the game the bulls and the bears always play. I am in the shadow. Beautiful. I'm going to sit on this beautiful swing, my office chair here on Copagan. So why are we not seeing this huge run uh, you know, uh, past 10,500 and why are we not pulling back? These things are very easy explainable. At the moment, we have seen eight weekly candles, guys. Eight weekly green candles. And we are now going into the ninth weekly green candle. This is the first time in ever in Bitcoin history because we always reached a top of eight weekly green candle candles. So this is a sign that, you know, even the bulls will lose control on pushing the Bitcoin price up. We can see this huge sell wall around 10,000 to 10,200. I think it's a 3,000 Bitcoin sell wall, which is about uh, 30 million. What does this exactly mean? I'm going to try and explain this in a simple way. A sell wall means that there are people selling their Bitcoins between 10,000 and 10,200 dollars. Pe the people are selling a total amount of 3,000 Bitcoins. So if we, want to go up above to 10,200, the bullish people need to buy up more than 3,000 Bitcoins because 3,000 Bitcoins are being sold at this rate. So now we as bulls need to buy up all these 3,000 Bitcoins to break this wall. 
And then when we have bought all these 3000 bitcoins, we need to buy 1000 more to even see a run up. At the same time, we have also something that is called support. So that's people not willing to sell their bitcoins uh, below like 8,800. So there's like 1.5 million uh, Bitcoin addresses that bought around uh, 8,800 that are not willing to sell. So it's difficult for the bears to push the price down below this one. But again, guys, like I said in yesterday's video, it is Bitcoin. I have seen Bitcoin go up uh, from 3,000 to 20,000 in two and a half, three weeks times. We can see this again. And I've seen Bitcoin falling from 13K to 6K to 3K in like a split of a week or a weekend. Everything is possible. It is one of the most volatile assets you can invest in. And that is why you need to educate yourself in investing in Bitcoin. Because we can read all the signals, we can read all the indicators, but still it has all to do with emotion of the market. It still has to do with big whales wanting to move the price. It has to do with so many things that we have not, we don't have like 100% influence on what we invest in. So always be aware, don't invest more than you um, are prepared to lose. When it comes to that, we as a family, were, we were prepared to lose everything and that is why we went all in. If you're not prepared to lose everything and you're very materialistic or still depending on having a lot of luxury goods, don't go all in. That was a good advice, wasn't it? So that was the bearish uh, thing, guys. But there is also, again, like I said in the last few videos, a lot of bullish sickness as well. Now there is one more to add. There's this huge signal that only flashed two times in the last four years. One of those two times was just up front of the bull run of 2017 and the second time in flashed in the last four years was just uh, up front of the bull run in 2019 you know from 3 to 14k area so this signal is again flashing now which is another bullish indicator that we will go up from this price level here together with the MACD crossing, together with the PSAR flashing, together with Bitcoin being above the 50, the 100 and 200 moving, uh, simple moving average in the weekly charts. So I am still bullish. We also broke the downward trend line. So we are now using this trend line probably as support. So yes, we can have a pullback to the trend line and then go up. And that is also what this guy is telling us on uh, one of the articles I read. He's this huge Elliott Wave supporter. An Elliott Wave, we could now be, th be between wave three and four, and we could now be in the ABCDE correction which would mean that Bitcoin can still pull back to 6K in the last correction before it goes in the fourth wave. That is very positive news for all you guys out there that still want to accumulate Bitcoin because this Elliott wave, just check the chart, is predicting we could go down once more to 6,000 area before we, we enter the real bull run. So all the scenarios for me are positive why because i manage my portfolio in a way that it will never start stressing about these small waves because i zoom out to the big picture one percentage i huddle so if bitcoin goes up i am happy and the other percentage i hatch into stable coins so if bitcoin goes down i can buy or accumulate it even more this is the game you need to learn to play um, and uh, guys, I'm willing to help you. Just send me some messages, messages, and I, I will try to do my best to simplify the game for you. Then there is one more other very bullish news. There is this uh, um, macro economist. He is showing three charts, three different charts of three different outcomes for Bitcoin after the halving. One chart brings Bitcoin up to $40,000. That's the pessimistic chart, I think, in his opinion. The other chart will bring Bitcoin to $400,000. And then we have a third chart that will bring Bitcoin to $1 million. Guys, it's a very experienced macroeconomical guy that is telling us this. So check these charts and you can see his suggested outcomes for the next bull run 
so that would be 40k or 400k or 1 million all very positive because even 40k is four times the price we are seeing now yes that was a fly hitting my nose <laughs> Okay guys, I have been talking too much again. I hope you enjoyed this video again. It's Saturday, I'm going to do some family time today because I spent all the time on the bike with guys and drinking and doing other stuff yesterday. So please, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it in your communities, start to follow the channel and hit the bell button so you will be notified on every new videos we make. I read something at Carl the Moon's tweet that he thinks that YouTube now is like shadow banning every crypto content which means my crypto content could be shadow banned in the future as well and that means that you know you won't see my videos in your timeline so it is very important you hit the subscription bell and uh, because this bell will make sure you get a notification of my new videos even if YouTube doesn't want to show you my videos you still you still will be notified about these videos by hitting the bell so please do this and you can also join our telegram channel the bitcoin family check it in the links is there more i want to tell you guys yeah there was one more thing because one more question you need to answer for me what is it that you are going to do after you come out of lockdown we are probably going to travel some more that's why i wear this beautiful trip travel shirt exceltrip.com exceltrip.com you can find a lot of beautiful deals and you know even pay with bitcoin litecoin ethereum verge and dash i think so that's a huge advantage for people like me that believe in crypto you can even spend it at exceltrip.com and buy uh, book more than two million hotels and book flights from more than 400 uh, flight operators which is huge it is the partner of nepal tourism this year so if you want to visit nepal go to my description of the video and use the link i have put there to exceltrip.com guys Thanks for watching, have a beautiful day, live life to the fullest, enjoy your day and make the best of it. See you guys tomorrow, bye.